Hey guys, it's Tiff back again for another viewer's choice. And you guys chose a half face in a Neo Color 2 black um, crayon. And so what I've done here is I took the half face um, that was color and now I'm going to take this black and white image that I printed on my laser inkjet and kind of enlarged it so that the face would be very similar in size. Now that was just a choice that I made. I think it would also look very cool if you use two half of a face, two halves of a face and it to be um, random sizes. So that was just a choice that I made. And as you see, I have just cut the hand right out because I thought that it would be pretty cool for the black and white hands to be on the top of the colorful half of the face. So, today I am not going to use any quote unquote paint. I will use some clear gesso, but it's all collage, which is something new to me that I haven't ever really done that I can recall. I'm sure that I have, but for it not to have absolutely zero paint, with the exception of the clear gesso. Hmm. I don't recall ever doing that. So, um, And some of you guys had said that y'all would like to see um, me do pages where it's not so much about painting but more about collage. So I am here just to make you guys dreams come true. <laughs> Okay, so now as you see, I am going to glue down with the Uhu glue stick the colorful half of the face, kind of matching the nose up, and everything else kind of falls into place. So you can see that the glare of the um, colorful image, because it was um, like a glossy paper, and the a black and white image was just printed off my printer and it was not a glossy image so it's a little bit um not pleasing to the eye with the camera here because it keeps picking up those highlights and i'm going to do something in a minute after i make sure everything is glued down i'm going to put clear gesso over it and it's going to kind of help it um be the same matte um, kind of color and this journal here is a handmade journal you guys always ask every time that I use it and you'll find a class coming soon and the construction of this is kind of um, similar to what I'll be teaching now Susie LaFon has the sweetest little cool um, business cards that she sent in the journal that I've showed you guys before. If you haven't checked out her journal, you need to go and check out the journal that I got. I did a flip through of it. I'll try to link it up in the iCards or either at the bottom. But in that, she sent a business card. And on the business card, one side was her information. And the other side was um, different art that she has. And so the words that were on there, I thought, hmm, I bet this would be very interesting to add true, messy, and vulnerable to a page at some point. Well, today happens to be the day it was sitting right beside me. And so I thought that her contemplative um, appearance, and now I'm using the Neo Color 2, which is a water reactive crayon. These are super portable and those are super neat to use. And all I'm doing is kind of adding where the um, page had a little bit of a white border from one page to the other. I'm just kind of making that look a little more seamless with the Neo Color 2. And then because I use the clear gesso, it is allowing me to go over this image and create some sh shadows and um contours you can still see a little bit of the brightness um from the gloss page and here i'm just pulling that hair strands that she had on the black and white over to the color um side of the picture so if you are adding to or changing an image and you're layering things it looks a little more interesting and three-dimensional whenever you take and kind of pull 
one line work over to the other, if that makes any sense, which it may or may not. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Y'all tell me. So now I'm going to glue these words over here that are super fun and um, perfect for this page in the journal today. And guys, that's pretty much going to be a wrap. I am going to add um, a little white china marker. I want you to just remember that art doesn't have to be complicated. Okay, it doesn't have to be something that takes an elaborate amount of time because in reality, we don't have a ton of time. I don't have a ton of time, right? I work a full-time job. I have other things beside art that has to get done. Like, we have to adult people. Like, unfortunately, it is what it is. We do have to do some adulting. And so, in order to do that, it's important for my overall health and personality to be able to make time to create art for Tiffany. And so by doing so, I get to share it with all of you guys, but it, this page is just to show you that you can come out with something really fun to put in your journal without spending a ton of time. Again, this was a black and white color, I mean, a black and white copy that was not this girl's face, okay? I just pieced and parted it together, and I've done something similar with a hand-drawn image before, um... I don't know if you guys remember that or not, but I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope that you will subscribe and um, like and comment and do all the things. And until next time, guys, to lose.